Hi everyone, I am Eve the Medium and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, it is an incredible pleasure to be back with you all. For those that are new to my channel, if you have not yet subscribed, you can subscribe below and also click on the notification bell to be notified when any of my new videos are up. Today's video is, as always, the English version of the previous video. The previous video was on psychic children, children that are born with the gift of mediumship. How can you support these children? How can you guide these children? The most important thing of all, is listening to your child around the age of seven i was always able to see the spirits hear them sense them and feel them one thing that a lot of people do not know about children that are born with psychic abilities or mediumship abilities is that we are able to sense and feel not only beings of light but also lower level spirits earthbound spirits those spirits that are trapped in this earth plane because there's a difference between earthbound spirits and the spirits that are trapped in this earth plane some are involuntarily trapped here and there are others that have chosen to stay for some reason or another as a child this is something that can create a lot of fear that is the main reason why I decided to do this video also because as a spiritual medium I have a lot of parents that contact me in regards to their children not being able to sleep at night, children being afraid of being in the dark, of being alone in the dark. One thing that I hear very often is children expressing to their parents that there's a monster in the closet. One thing I can tell you, if a child tells you, mom, dad, there's something in the closet, there's a monster in the closet, this is the way a child is going to describe these spirits. And most of the times they appear to us looking like monsters so these spirits can transform or make themselves seem like anything that is why it's so important to listen to your child ask them what are you seeing what are you hearing what are you experiencing the worst thing that can happen is that that child can shut down and not tell you anything else and try to deal with this on their own which can become a very very scary situation another thing that i hear very often is about imaginary friends. Me personally, I do not believe at all in imaginary friends. I believe these are spirits that are lingering maybe in that home or around that child or are attracted to that child because those of us that are born with the light, this light can be seen in other realms. So these spirits that may be trapped in that home or are being attracted by the child's energy can be those imaginary friends that your child is talking about or they can be spirit guides their own spirit guides because most of the time a child will give you a name the word imaginary it is created by the parent you are telling the child that they are imagining these things when the child is certain of what they're seeing or hearing so immediately as a parent you say you're imagining it it is just an imaginary friend my child has an imaginary friend and as they go growing older and older and older and you do not investigate this so many things can happen because it may be a good imaginary friend or a bad one 100% of the times these are spirits these are not imaginary friends these are spirits that your child is connecting with and these spirits may be guiding your child to do certain things it is so important for you to ask your child what is your imaginary friend's name what do they look like what do they tell you to do what do they advise you these are things that are very important whether you believe it or not the spirit world is very real extremely real i have as a child and as an adult encountered good spirits and very bad ones i mentioned in my previous video that i have had so many so many experiences both good and bad and i have encountered some terrible beings in this world and i mean whether you choose to believe it or not that is your choice but do not Place that in your child's mind that they are imagining these things. Because what you're doing, you're hurting that child. That child is born with the gift of seeing these spirits, of communicating with these spirits. Your responsibility should be to help them, to guide them. If you notice that your child is afraid of sleeping alone at night, if your child is afraid of going to a certain room in the house, ask them why. You are the person, the number one person, 
that your child should trust the most. And I always say, if you do not advise your child or guide your child, the street will do it for you. There are so many young adults right now lost spiritually. And when I have spoken to them, the first thing they tell me is, my parents never believed me. Now, when I hear the experiences, they're mind-blowing. And they tell me, I tried telling my mother, I tried telling my father, but either they say I was going crazy or I was imagining it. And that's the worst thing in the world, when someone doesn't believe you and when you know what you are experiencing. I thank God every day that my father was my number one supporter. My father believed in everything that I told him that I experienced, believed in my dreams. When I used to tell him I would have certain dreams, my father would listen to them. My father supported me in the good times and the bad times. My father was there for me. Through my awakening, the difficult times that we experienced through our awakening, my father was there 100%. Even though I know there were moments that he couldn't get it, because we sometimes ourselves can't get it, we don't understand what's going on, it's good to have that support. Someone by your side that at least listens and say, okay, okay, that's it, nothing else, just okay. It's important to write down every in each one of your child experiences if your child says they cannot sleep in their room by themselves do not let them sleep in the room by themselves this is the most frightening experience for a child bedtime for a child that is psychic and has mediumship abilities nighttime is the most frightening moment of our lives when you have to go to bed alone and your parents shut that light out, that's the most frightening experience because I had trouble sleeping as a child. Why? Because I was experiencing all these things. And at night, it was like my third eye would just awaken by itself. And I was able to see so much in the dark. And this continued throughout my teenage years. Until I learned, by the guidance of my spiritual guides, how to shut it down. It was like I would close my physical eyes, but another eye would open. And I was able to see everything as if it was daylight in my room. So you see, this is the communication that you need to develop with your child. Another thing that I've noticed is that since nowadays there are so many young parents, we do not teach our children how to pray. We do not teach our children about the importance of that connection with God and we do not speak to our children about spirituality I had my children when I was very young and I taught my children the 91st Psalms the 23rd Psalms and the Lord's Prayer my daughter my youngest daughter at the age of two was able to recite the rosary the entire rosary which most of you may say, but it's not difficult. But for a two-year-old to remember step-by-step step of the rosary, I used to sit my children in bed with me and we used to pray. I explained to them about the Bible. I explained to them about God as much as I could. I always explained to them and spoke to them openly about spirituality. And my children are very spiritual. And they have never felt afraid to come to me and tell me I had this dream, I experienced this, or I'm feeling afraid, or I'm feeling anxiety, or I'm feeling depressed, I don't know what's going on, I don't understand what I'm feeling. They have never felt afraid to bring it to me and allow me to help them. So you see, you have to develop that trust with your child, that your child, at whatever age, they can come to you and tell you, Mom, I'm afraid of this. My granddaughter has a beautiful gift. And her dreams are so incredibly vivid and very detailed. And she's very in tune and connected to energy. She lets me know when something doesn't feel right. She understands it. I teach my children how to cleanse themselves since their early age. I've always taught them the importance of cleansing themselves spiritually. The importance of spiritual protection. Let me tell you something. We are not 
alone in this world. The veil between the physical world and the spiritual world for me has totally disappeared. Spirits of all kind have filtered into this world. Just look around. Look what's happening in the world. And most of the violence that is happening in the world is being influenced by a lot of not so good spirits. Trust me. We need God more than ever. When you teach your child to pray, they are building a shield of protection. Because at a very young age, a child does not have ego. So when they pray, they pray from the heart. So if your child is experiencing fear at night, or what some call night terrors, or they're telling you that there's a monster in the closet, open that closet, cleanse it, cleanse their room. I have mentioned in previous video, a simple wash that you can give your child, which is with cascarilla, colonia, and half a gallon of water. You pour this over the child every night before they go to bed. And their aura is cleansed, they're protected, and they'll sleep well. If your child is experiencing much more than that, then you can also use my Jinx Removing Wash to cleanse them. My herb mix. If your child tells you there are spirits in your home, listen. Because most likely your child is seeing something that you are not seeing. Or whatever it is in your home is blocking you from seeing these spirits. Or you do not have the ability to see them. Maybe you've been feeling something is wrong. I always say listen to your child. Children do not lie. Children speak to you about spirits and they have not had any previous experience. You should listen. I tell you sometimes my jaw drops when I hear the way these children speak with such conviction. You can hear in their words how how certain they are of what they're feeling, of what they're seeing, of what they're experiencing. It is beautiful in a way. And you also feel for them. Because the worst thing is a scared child. Especially if they cannot come to you as a parent and tell you, Mom, I'm afraid of this. Mom, I'm experiencing this. And it's very scary. Because as they grow older and you have not developed this connection with them, with your children, explaining to them, talking to them, listening to them, they may find somebody out there that belongs to a cult or some strange religion and then what's going to happen? They're going to misguide your child. They're going to take that gift, that beautiful gift that your child has and manipulate it into something else. And that's the sad part because your child doesn't understand that they were born with a gift, that it's okay to see spirits. It's okay. It's okay. People pass away. We no longer see their body, but their spirit is still alive. A lot of people ask me, how do you explain that to a child? Trust me, when a child brings it to you, they have a little bit more understanding than you. They will get it. They will get it. Psychic children are usually very, very smart. Very smart. So you do not have to find any sophisticated words to explain to them. The most important thing is to listen to them. If your child needs help, you guide them to that help, to that assistance. So make sure you protect your child. Spiritual protection. Spiritual hygiene. Teach them about spiritual hygiene. Teach them how to cleanse themselves. Teach them. Let them know that if they feel something when they encounter a person, if they feel something negative, it's okay to stay away. That they do not have to sacrifice themselves. That if they go with you to a place and they don't feel comfortable to let you know. Never force your child to be in a place where they don't want to be. Never force your child to connect with a person that they don't want to connect. Like I said, they may be seeing, feeling, or sensing something that you do not feel or sense. Teach them also how to believe in themselves and their gifts. There are so many simple baths that I offer on my website. If a child is not sleeping well in their room, Prepare the, a cleansing bath for the home and their room and also on the child. Give them a cleansing wash. You must understand that those of us that are born with our psychic abilities developed, with our mediumship developed, we are magnets like sponges 
We absorb everything. We sense everything until we learn how to protect ourselves, until we learn how to develop that connection with our guides and to strengthen that spiritual connection. Otherwise, as children, we depend on you as parents. Most of the things I know nowadays were taught to me by my guides. Very few by my mother because my mother always refused to speak about um, spiritual awakening and so forth. So I really didn't have anyone by my side as a teacher. But my guides, thank God, because spirit guides do know what they're doing. And that's the best teaching you can receive. And I often wonder, and I say, my God, how many people are out there? that may be going through a spiritual awakening and not be aware of it. They might be experiencing anxiety, panic attacks, depression, so many things that come with this and not understand it and just simply think they're losing their mind. Guide your child, listen to your child, and protect your child. This is the purpose of this video, to help you understand and recognize if your child was born with a gift. Even though everyone is psychic to a certain degree, most of us are born with this gift fully developed and it can be scary so next time your child tells you they have imaginary friends ask them for information what is your friend's name who is it or who are they what do they tell you write all these things down and if they tell you there's a monster in the closet believe them clean that closet out clean your entire house out these children should feel very comfortable in their home their home should be their safe place when you have children with mediumship abilities the energy of the home should always be clean and the child should receive cleansing wash to remove anything that they have absorbed from school from friends from anywhere knowing understand you have been blessed with these children in your life take care of them protect them listen to them as children that's all we want for our parents to listen to us to listen to our scary stories don't disregard when a child tells you they're afraid or they've seen something. Do not disregard it. Do not shrug it off as if you're just imagining things. Believe your child so they can learn to believe in themselves. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions in regards to this video, you can place your comments below and I will gladly respond to all your questions. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you and much love and light to you and your psychic children.